Hi, this is Monique. Thank you so much for joining me for this mindful meditation. I'm so glad you've prioritized coming along on this mindfulness journey. Have you ever been around someone who exudes calm, acceptance, compassion, and inner stillness? Those qualities usually seem so elusive. How do they do it? Do they not ever get upset? How do they remain so centered in the middle of a storm? That person most likely has cultivated a practice of mindfulness and equanimity. They exist in relationship to each other. Mindfulness is paying attention on purpose to thoughts, feelings, and bodily sensations without judgment. Equanimity involves not engaging with or reacting to those mental events or bodily sensations. Mindfulness and equanimity work together to help us cultivate inner peace and navigate life with more ease and tranquility. Equanimity is a state of being aware of what is going on within us, being in the middle of an experience and not getting caught up or carried away by it. It's knowing that all experiences are temporary. Equanimity allows us to enjoy positive experiences as they unfold without grasping or clinging to them. And when we encounter difficult experiences, we recognize them for what they are and try not to mentally push them away, rather allowing them the space to be. Let's say you're eating lunch and you spill mustard on your shirt. An equanimous response would be something like saying, let me clean off my shirt as best I can, and then I'll move on to whatever I need to do next. Or you can say something like, it is what it is right now, or maybe, it's like this. These phrases imply an acceptance of the current situation. Instead, we frequently experience an emotional reaction. We might make up a story like, what is wrong with me that I haven't figured out how to eat a sandwich without getting it all over me? Or I'm always doing things like this. Instead, we can choose to have steadiness of mind and peace in our heart in good times and in the midst of chaos. It's important to note that equanimity is not indifference or passive resignation. Rather, it's a balanced state of mind. It allows us to respond from a place of wisdom. It exudes warmth, love, and acceptance. When it's cultivated, it gives rise to a great sense of peace. Equanimity includes the qualities of loving kindness and compassion towards ourselves and others. It's paying attention to whatever arises within us and not getting wrapped up in it, and at the same time, not pushing it away. It's just observing it with patience and a curious attitude, not judging it as good or bad. Equanimity is the capacity to be grounded in the middle of difficult situations and responding with a sense of calm, objectivity, and evenness of temper. We can cultivate this through mindfulness practice. Mindfulness helps us see things as they truly are. We don't have to wait until everything in our lives is just right to practice equanimity. Rather, this practice is exactly for times like now, in the middle of a pandemic when many of us are feeling unsettled, uncertain, worried, or overwhelmed. This practice helps us work with the challenges in our lives. I'd like to lead us in a practice to cultivate equanimity. Sit in a relaxed posture that's comfortable for you, with your feet planted firmly on the ground and hands in your lap. And if you'd like, go ahead and close your eyes. Allow yourself to settle into your body, your heart and mind, and into the present moment. Take a few deep breaths in, and on the out breath, allow your tension to leave your body. Invite the quality of a peaceful heart and calm mind to settle your breathing. As you continue to breathe in and out, see if you can bring to mind a time when you felt relaxed, balanced, or content in your mind and body. Maybe you were sitting on the beach or hiking in the mountains. Perhaps it was a time when you experienced a difficult situation like a disagreement with someone and you were able to pause and remain calm. As you imagine the situation when you felt a sense of balance and centeredness, try to reconnect with your senses in great detail. 
What did you see? What did you feel? What did you hear? If a specific situation doesn't come to mind easily, see if you can picture a redwood tree. These trees are tall, wide, and solid, and aren't likely to fall over when the wind blows. Is there a time that you remember that feeling of being grounded and having the steadiness and stillness of a redwood? Pay attention to what happens inside of you as soon as you get in touch with this feeling. Breathe in and out and notice what you feel. Notice your bodily sensations and your state of mind. With each breath, let your body and your mind connect with its natural state of balance and well-being. Now shift your focus to a more challenging situation. See if you can remember a situation where it was more difficult to respond with equanimity. It could be something like the experience of getting a flat tire or maybe something like having a disagreement with a colleague or family member. As you remember this difficult situation, pay attention to what you feel in your body. Maybe there's tightness or tension, a racing heart or flushed face. Maybe you wish it was different or that it never happened. Just take a deep breath in and out and notice what you are experiencing. Acknowledge that this is a moment of suffering and then choose to practice equanimity by saying one of the following statements or create another one that feels right for you. May I remember that thoughts, feelings, and experiences are not permanent. They come and they go. I have confidence that I can handle all that life gives me with tranquility, grace, and equanimity. I have the capacity to accept things as they are. I might not like them and that's okay. I can still work to resolve them. May I stay composed and balanced in the midst of difficult situations. Now bring to mind that image of the redwood tree that's strong, steady, and tall, or the example of when you felt a balanced mind, mental calmness, or contentment. Sit here with that empowered feeling for a few more breaths. Allow a sense of relaxation and stillness to spread throughout your whole being. Say to yourself, whatever comes my way, I have the capacity to cope with it. Whatever it is, may I meet it with equanimity. May I bring my peaceful and balanced mind with me as I move with ease throughout my day.